Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm finally going to be reviewing the Huda Beauty Faux Filter foundation as you guys have been asking for it so many times. You guys know I love to review foundations for you guys and I have a ton on my channel and I actually have a playlist on my channel of all the foundation reviews I've done so if you want to check that out it's on my main channel page. Today let me just give you some background story on the foundation because I actually don't have the foundation itself I actually just have a sample that they've given me. Um, I don't know if you watched my previous vlog that I've uploaded this week I'll link it in the info box. Me and my friend Nina we went to the Huda Beauty counter in Southridge in London Oxford Street and we tried to color match ourselves and I was hoping that they would have it in stock because I had called them a few weeks before and I was like when are you gonna get deliveries and Harrods was like we're gonna get it on the 2nd of November but at the end they didn't have any they didn't have brown sugar toffee or gingerbread in stock so I just thought let me go to the Selfridges counter and color match myself and at least I know my shade and then I can order it online when it comes back in stock from cult beauty but like literally when I went in the lighting was not that great and I was struggling to find my shade and normally I'm like 90% on point when it comes to matching my shade but when I went to the counter I tried gingerbread that was way too warm for me so I knew that was not my colour then I tried toffee and it looked great at first but then it went dark and even when I went afterwards in daylight on my face it was just like dark and then I, I actually had no makeup on as well and then the girl said that I might be brown sugar, but even brown sugar might be too dark for me because it oxidizes. And she even recommended macchiato. Macchiato. By the way, the staff in Selfridges were actually really, really nice to me. I know a lot of people are saying that they're actually quite mean and rude, but the one, the girls that were there on the day, they were really, really nice. And there was this girl who just offered me a sample, and this sample has four colors in here, and it also has the primer. She was just like, just have this, try it out. Um, so this is toffee and this is the one I'm going to be trying today. Hey guys, so I just wanted to quickly pause the video right here just to explain what's going on with the shade. So in this video, toffee looks like a good match, but it's actually too dark. By the end of the day, it goes a bit orangey. So I've come to the conclusion that brown sugar would be my perfect colour and that's the shade I will be definitely getting. Well, you guys will see how tan looks on my skin in this video, but it is a tad bit dark and too warm. So yeah, brown sugar is my official shade. Since there was so much product in the sample, I was able to try this foundation out three times using toffee and this is why I know that toffee is a bit too dark. But yeah, she was really, really lovely and um, I didn't even need to ask for it. I was intending to buy the foundation. I was ready to buy the foundation full size. It's kind of like my job to try them out for you guys and buy them, you know. So that's why I have a ton of foundations in my makeup drawer. I do reviews for you guys. So I knew that I had to buy the foundation and I had no problem with that. But just in case some of you guys are like, why are you doing a review with a sample? This is why. It's because I couldn't find my shade and I didn't want to spend £32 on something that I knew that I would like but it wouldn't be the right shade because it is a lot of money at the end of the day and they didn't have my shade in stock even if I wanted to get toffee anyway so this is what I'm going to be doing I'm really sorry about like if this bothers you if it's a sample but if I'm going to try it I might as well film it because it is my first impression so yeah that's the story hope I didn't blabber on too much this sample has macaroon and moretti and toffee and coffee beans so I'm going to be trying toffee but it also does come with the complexion perfection pre makeup base this is the Huda Beauty primer so yeah it comes in a little sample like this what I'll be doing is trying it on half of my face to see if there's a difference between both sides I have heard mixed reviews on the primer that it smells too strong and um, it's a really thick primer so again I didn't I wasn't planning to buy the primer because I knew the primer comes in a sample with the foundation when you buy it um, and I felt like with this one I need to try it first before going to purchase it for myself because I, I have been really loving primers lately and this apparently is really good for dry skin so I'm gonna try this on it is really thick though And I believe there's rosehip oil in this. Okay, mine doesn't really have a really strong scent. It just smells like Nivea cream. Something like Nivea cream or, or my Nan's cream that's ringing a bell. It does have like tackiness to it, so I really like that. I do like the feel of the primer so far. So the primer does have rosehip oil, which hydrates. It also has dimethicone for smoothing 
and powder finish forming grips makeup in place and controls oil throughout the day i do actually kind of get oily on my t-zone sometimes crazy enough i have such a weird skin type so for the foundation it says it's a creamy high coverage foundation packed with ultra refined pigments with for a buildable medium to full coverage i love medium to full coverage stuff even full coverage stuff i love like when my skin looks absolutely flawless um, it also says it effortlessly camouflages imperfections and pigmentation with a seamless powdery effect for a flawless selfie ready look i was also thinking since i have like four shades i could like maybe highlight with one and contour with the other so i'm going to do that today might as well but first i'm going to apply the foundation so this is toffee now you would think that toffee is a perfect shade for me but it actually gets darker so i'm gonna leave that on and then i'll do comparison from when it's dry to a wet swatch but in the meantime i'm just gonna apply this on my face i'm gonna be applying a brush but that looks like a perfect match for me but also i watched sabina hanan i don't know if you watch her she's just her makeup is just flawless but I love her videos and she did re she recently did a review on the Huda Beauty foundation and she wore gingerbread and normally she's like my shade so I was just so confused it's so confusing so I'm just gonna Huda Beauty herself does say that you really don't need much with this foundation I'm just using a dense brush to blend it in I don't know why but this smells like perfume it smells it has this perfume scent i don't mind it as long as it goes away after a bit kind of like the smell actually okay let's see how it does around my mouth covering that pigmentation i have Make sure you get it in that in your hairline. Okay, so this brush has the primer in it, so I'm going to use a different brush and apply it on my other side. See, there's already a slight difference. This is lighter and this is a bit darker. Okay, so that is looking really, really nice. My pores do look a bit smaller on this side, like where I put the primer, but it just looks flawless. Just do a little close up. Oh, please mind my spot. I am gonna use Amaretti under my eyes. And I'm just gonna use a small brush. Cause I've seen this, I've seen Huda Beauty do this on her Snapchat. That has covered really, really well. You get a ton of product in these samples, by the way. That's a bit super pigmented. Hopefully this is going to help me balance the colour out because I feel like this is slightly dark. I want to use a bit of my banana powder by Ben Nye to set my under eyes. So I'm just going to let it bake for a bit like I always do with concealer. And I might try, I don't know if I want to put the darker one. So I feel like this is really dark and really warm so I might skip that today. I feel like there's a lot of product to put on top of the foundation so I'm going to skip the contour. But I am super happy and super shocked that I actually don't need a bit of con uh, colour corrector with this. I just feel like it's a bit dark or is it just me? So the foundation has dried down on the back of my hand so I'm going to do a little swatch for you. So that's what it looks like dry and this is what it looks like when it's freshly swatched can you see the difference almost goes a bit more like neutrally when it dries down brown sugar actually sat really nicely on my skin so i think maybe brown sugar is my shade um but it's definitely a huge difference between the two swatches here the foundation does set slightly so i'm just going to do the rest of my makeup and i'll be right back Right, I've just done my makeup and I am 
digging the foundation guys i'm not even joking my my skin looks flawless Ooh. by the way i'm wearing all huda beauty well all the stuff that i have from huda beauty so the highlights huda beauty lashes are jade i'm wearing the desert dust palette and also trendsetter on my lips i wouldn't actually mind getting the foundation in another color as a concealer because it's sitting so nicely under my eyes i'm not even joking guys it looks like I've put Tarte Shape Tape under my eyes. I don't know. It just looks amazing. And my skin literally looks like it does have a filter on it. Like, it's crazy. It just looks smooth. My bronzer blended so nicely and so easily on this foundation. I can't even explain it to you guys. Like, it's just smooth. I just love it. I love it so much. Um, it has dried down and I feel like I don't need powder all over my face with this foundation. I feel like Toffee is an okay shade. I feel like once we get out of winter, this will be perfect for me. I still don't know what colour to get, but Toffee does look like a good match. I feel like I need to get Amoretti as my concealer shade because it's just stunning. I love it so much. I think it's amazing that for £32, you get 35ml of product, which is amazing because your normal foundation, your average foundation has 30ml for around 32 to £34. So... I think the price wise compared to how much product you get is really really good um i um i felt the bottle in store and i actually didn't mind that the fact that it's plastic it looks like glass and i'm so clumsy i drop everything so i kind of like the fact that it's in plastic um a lot of people say that huda beauty doesn't do that well with her packaging but i feel like she does this in and with her desert dust palette she upped the game with her packaging it feels much more sturdy it comes with a mirror um, and the overall foundation looks luxurious as in when you look at the bottle it's just that I feel like it's more convenient when it's plastic you know it might be cheaper than glass but overall to me it's more convenient because I know if I drop it I won't break it because it is a lot of money but yeah my skin looks flawless that's all I have to say about it the only question is how is this gonna last throughout the day I do realize that my skin looks much smoother with the primer side and I actually am loving the primer um that's I feel like I'm gonna get it too I don't know I'm just really really happy I just feel like I need to get the shade right because I want to get the shade right you know we're going into winter and I feel like I get so pale during winter that's why I want to find out which one is the best shade for me either toffee or brown sugar i think that's what i have to say for now guys it is 15 15 p.m right now i'm gonna wear this i'm gonna try and wear it till midnight and see how this stays on my face i am loving it guys you guys know you probably know that i'm a huge fan of huda but that does not change anything i will tell you guys if it's not a good foundation or not as always but you can just see you can just see how good it looks on my skin and it hasn't dried me out here's just a quick close-up My mouth area looks so flawless and that is without colour corrector. Can you just believe that? Just believe that. Yeah, I'm going to be back later on and we'll see how it looks then. Guys, I am freezing. Freezing, I tell you. Okay, so it is now 11.20. So around 11, we can say 11.30. Okay. <laughs> it's been a long day. My head hurts. Ugh. And I, it's just like this weather is just crazy. Like, even though I prefer cold weather, this is cold. Like, I just have to get used to it. <laughs> so it's been around eight to nine hours, which is, I would say, standard time for foundation. Normally when I go work and stuff, or like if I'm out a whole day, I keep it for longer. But most of the time when I'm just going out and doing running errands and just out with family, I keep it for like eight hours. I do try to keep foundation on my face the least time possible because... I just feel like it's just best for your skin but on the other hand let's just get on to talking about this foundation because I am loving it I have a lot to say overall will I buy this foundation definitely I am gonna wait till it comes in stock because I just really love the way my skin looks and my the foundation does not feel heavy I don't find it heavy I actually feel like there's nothing on my skin and it's definitely full coverage and it 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 looks natural it looks like skin it doesn't look like cakey or anything um i definitely see a difference with the primer side and the non-primer side one first of all there's more smile lines here than this side second of all 
the foundation has faded off all on this side of my nose but not on this one or well, hardly and then on this on my forehead there's like cracking on this side but then on this side there's no cracking so the primer is actually doing a really really good job I'm really really shocked only thing is that I feel like the foundation has gathered slightly in my nose crease bit here yeah that's it really but apart from that, I'm pretty pleased with the smile lines on both sides. The, apparently the foundation is waterproof, but I really don't think that because I'm touching the foundation and it's like transferring on my hand. But then when you have it on your hand, like it literally won't budge. But I feel like your hand and your face is two different things. Um, on my face, it's transferring, but not as much. It has set really well, but with the oils and stuff, like I've gotten a bit oily and I can see my fingerprints when I press on it and it is transferring on my fingers on here and here it's done this weird thing where like you can see little dots so i don't know if it's accentuating like blackheads or like pores that i had in those areas that i never knew i had but that's the only downside i feel like so it does transfer and it goes a bit patchy in some areas like it comes off um and those little dots i think that's the only thing that i don't like about the foundation but Again, I haven't even used powder, so maybe if I use powder, it'll be a bit different. But everything else, guys, it's just really, really nice. And I would give this foundation a solid 8 out of 10. A good solid 8 out of 10. Just because of, like, the separation and these weird dots that I've been getting. I'm very surprised, and it, I feel like this will become one of my favourite foundations. No, there's not a foundation out there that is perfect, that you will find one little thing that bothers you, but I don't mind that. I feel like with powder, this foundation will work much, much better. I've just realised I don't have lipstick, but here's a little close-up for you guys. I don't know if you guys can see the separation here, but on this side there's none. The foundation does gather around these areas of it. I can see it like concentrating in these areas. On a side note, my skin didn't go flaky or dry with this foundation, which I'm really, really happy about. And the scent kind of went away after a while, so I don't, didn't really notice it. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you didn't mind that I did this video on a sample i had to try it anyway so i thought i would share it with you guys i might as well since i'm trying it but yeah i cannot wait till it comes back in stock so please 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 give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to the family thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you guys in my next one bye